Okay, so we're going to apply what we just talked about, um, our new equation, the PERT equation, PE to the RT. So let's take a look at these. Um, we have an annual growth rate of the world population is about 1.7%, and there were 5.3 billion people living on the planet in 1990. Okay, so we, this is not annual or quarterly compounding. This is a continuous process because every second there's more people being born and there's some dying, and um, so it is continuous growth. So we want to know um, how many people will inhabit the Earth by 2012. So we're going to use our PERT equation, P e to the RT. Um, P is our initial amount, so that is our initial population, 5.3 billion. E to the R, now your calculator is automatically going to put in parentheses when you're using E. Um, our growth rate was 1.7%, so 0 0.017 times our time. Now, our time from 1990 to 2012 is 22 years. So this is what you're going to put in your calculator. I'm totally out of space here. So you're going to do 5.3, and then go find your E button on your calculator. Calculator is going to put those parentheses in. You type in the rest, and let's see, 7.7-ish. And remember, those are billion people. All right, so suppose you invest uh, $1,050 at an annual interest rate of 5.5% compounded continuously. So again, there's your keyword. If it's compounded continuously, this is going to be a PERT equation, not the other one. Um, how much money will you have after five years? Um, banks do not compound continuously. Uh, I'm so not really sure why this problem says they do, but whatever. So our principal is 1050. E is just a number, and our rate is 0 0.055, and we're going to leave it there for five years. So we put this into our calculator, and you should get 1382.36. I know they said around the nearest dollar, but why would you do that? This is money. Go well, around to the nearest cent. Okay, another thing that grows continuously would be like a bacteria culture. So if you have a thousand growing continuously, it's a PERT equation, um, at a rate of 16% per day. So we want to find at the end of day one. So we have we started with 10,000, that was our principal. E so the 0.16 times one day. We stick that into our calculator, and we have 11,735 bacteria. This one we can round to the nearest bacteria. No need to put decimals in. And then at the end of five days, well, we're going to use that PERT equation again. E to the point. One, six, and this time we're going to let them sit there for five days. Plug that into your calculator, 10,000 E. Remember that the calculator put those parentheses in there for you. And we have 22,255. Okay. What I want you to do um, is finish out this packet. Uh, you should have enough information to get going there. Uh, this packet is going to be due uh, next time I see you.